Hello and welcome to another video review from me, Roger. And today we're going to be looking at the SIBO Felix, a German-made upright vacuum cleaner. This particular version we're looking at today is the Rosso. They're all basically the same. You can get the SIBO Felix in various different colours, but it's basically the same vacuum cleaner. Some of the models vary because they have additional tools with them. With the Rosso version, in the UK anyway, the additional tool you get is this SIBO Turbo Brush, uh, which is ideal for removing pet hairs off your furniture and upholstery. In addition to this nozzle, SIBO also provide this long crevice tool for all your nooks and crannies, and an upholstery or general purpose nozzle. You can use that for your upholstery, your curtains, stairs, um, has a little brush on the front here to help dislodge any dirt or hairs that need to be removed. Now both these tools, the small tools, can store on board using this little attachment here. I've not put it on, I prefer not to put it on, I just prefer the aesthetics of the vacuum without these tools attached and I mainly use it for carpets anyway. But you can attach this to the handle of the cleaner which means that the two tools that you'd be using the most just fit onto the handle like that so you can grab them when you need them. Now this is slightly lighter than SIBO's other main upright range, the X series. Um, it's a little bit more flexible in the fact you can remove the suction unit from the power head and it becomes a handheld cleaner, albeit a very large handheld cleaner, but it is slightly easier for cleaning your stairs than some of SIBO's upright cleaners unless you purchase the optional extension hose with the SIBO upright they can be a little bit awkward for cleaning stairs. The Felix, although it is quite big to carry in cleaning tool mode, it's still a little bit easier for stairs, but I'll show you all that in the video. So without any further ado, I'll just take you through the main features of the cleaner itself. Here we have the SIBO Felix Rosso in all its glory, very striking red colour. I'll start by explaining the features and benefits of the machine. Starting at the bottom here with the power head. This is the power head that you now get supplied with some of SIBO's cylinder vacuum cleaners. In the UK currently the only machine you can get this with is the D4 Premium but I believe in the USA and Germany most of their powerhead canister cleaners do come with this head so any of you who've got a, a SIBO canister with a powerhead this is basically exactly the same powerhead that you get with those machines. It has a four position height control rather than the automatic system that SIBO adopt on their X series. You select the height manually. So you've got setting 1 for your lowest pile carpets, setting 2 for low to medium, 3 medium and 4 for your longer pile carpets. There is um, an on off switch here that lights up. You can press that with your finger or your foot to turn the power head off for when you're using the machine on hard floors. There's also an indicator light here. If you've got the nozzle set too high, for example, if you go onto a hard floor and you've got it set on setting four, the machine will sense this and the, the light will come on to tell you to turn the setting down. When the light's green, it means you've got it at the right setting for the height of carpet or floor that you're cleaning. Now it's got a large orange lever here, you just press that down with your foot, that releases the handle into the working position. And it's a very flexible, you see how you can swivel the neck, so as you're cleaning it just takes just a flick of the wrist and you can manoeuvre the machine wherever you want to clean and it goes fairly flat 
you can get under lower furniture far flatter than say a Dyson cleaner very low profile at the front for you to clean under your tables and chairs like I say the power head does come off there is a button here that you just press and you can release the power head from the main unit well I've got the power head release, I'll just show you underneath so this power head is an independent motor, independent of the suction motor and it uh, is a 175 watt motor and it's got a very good brush roll with decent stiff brushes you can obtain an optional softer brush roll if you require with green brushes if you've got more delicate carpets and rugs because this can be too vigorous for some carpets it's all very easy to maintain there's a little trap door here which you can open if you get a blockage it helps you access the air path and for replacing or cleaning the brush roll if you live with somebody with long hair or pets with long hair you often need to clean the brush of hairs so it operates efficiently for that Seba provided a little button here you just press and then this whole end cap just comes off like this and then you just pull out the brush after giving it a bit of a turn turn it until you can, that's it and there we have the whole brush out, easy to replace, easy to clean and then it just slots back in, you see there's a spindle there it just slots back in, make sure you've got it the right, right way in and you just turn it until it goes in there and then you put the end cap on Now I'm managing to do this with one hand, just about, so it's pretty simple. It has a toothed belt which should last the lifetime of the machine, um, it shouldn't break, it shouldn't stretch. The belt is located in this section, because of that it will not clean close to the edge on this side. There's a good inch uh, of clearance there, so really it will only clean much closer this side, I mean there's still a bit of a gap but it is much closer than this side here. So there we have the power head, I'll just pop the unit back on, easy to do, he says, there we go, and it's a nice firm click. Now this might look this is, a, this is a fabric material, this might look like a soft bagged vacuum but underneath this there's a hard casing. This although it provides um, some cosmetic interest it does serve a purpose. This is the exhaust filter so the exhaust air is filtered throughout the whole of this unit here and then SIBO reckon you should replace it once a year this will become black on the other side with carbon dust from the motor. You have a hose, fairly short hose that's built on and there's a little, let's see it's easier to do if I remove the hose there, just pull it out. So we have a handle here so you can just quickly grab that when you're cleaning just if you see something in a, a corner you can't quite reach you can just grab this hose. There's also a little safety switch, might be hard to pick up, let me just move that, you can just about see here look, there. That ensures that when you remove the hose if you have the, the power head attached the, the brushes won't rotate, the power head switches off. Only when the hose is in position will that little switch activate and you'll be able to use the power head. Whichever way you have it, if you have the hose out or in, if the machine's in the upright position, again the power head will not turn on. It only comes on 
when it's in the operating position. It's just a little safety feature. So there we are, the hose just pops back in and it clips nicely here. Now this is the handle for carrying the machine. Uh, it's quite a big handle, you can hold it to whichever position you find most comfortable. Now on the top, we'll just turn around for a moment, we've got the cord, this is a 10 meter cord, we've got a little securing clip there, and the bottom hook you rotate upwards and then the whole flex comes off. And then you can just put the, I find it's good to put it there, I mean you can just turn the hook back down ready for when you've, ready to wind the cord back up. But if you put it in that position, it just makes it a bit more flush. Um, it's useful when you're going underneath furniture, it just gives you a tiny bit more clearance. On the top, got a piston operated bag full indicator that will gradually turn orange as the bag fills but again like all these bag full indicator systems it's always wise to use your own judgment use it as a rough guide but um, periodically just keep an eye on the bag the bag is accessed using this little clip here and then the whole top just opens out and you have um, fairly recent um, SIBO have gone from paper bags in this machine to a fleece material. So when the bag's full, all you do is pop that over and that seals all the dirt in and then you lift the bag out, dispose of the dirt and pop in a new bag. Now underneath the bag there is the motor protection filter. That's easy to replace, you just pull it out from the handle and pop it back in. SIBO now offer a motor filter with a carbon filter layer which is useful if you've got pets, it helps reduce odours um, from exiting the vacuum. So here we have the bag, not huge but they can be filled, it's a real top fill bag so you can fill it right to the top before you have to change it. Let's make sure it'll only go in one way this bag if you try to put it in the wrong way, you won't be able to. And there's a little feature here, this little clip here, prevents you trying to use the machine without the bag in place. So you don't want to be doing that. There we go. That's the bag positioned, and then we'll just close the lid. Moving on to the handle. It's a very sturdy metal handle. This is height adjustable. Now there's a little lever here, at the moment it's set in its highest operating position but if you pull this lever, let's turn that around, you pull this lever out you're now free to move the handle down so it's, it's at a lower position if you're shorter or if you're much shorter you can you can put it down as low as that. It's also useful for storage if you've got a, um, a cupboard that's not as tall and um, you can collapse the handle right down. Also when you're using it in handheld mode that's the best position for the handle because it keeps it out of the way then. So to use it in handheld mode like I say you just release the power head from this base and the whole base, uh, whole suction unit lifts off. Finally we've got the on off button here, you turn it on there and when you, in this position it's at its lowest, it's got an electronic speed control so as you push the button forward the suction power increases and the motor speed increases and the noise increases but it's not an overly noisy vacuum cleaner this, um, it's fairly pleasant sounding bit noisier than some of SIBO's cylinder machines but uh, as far as uprights go it's pretty quiet. So I think I've shown you everything I can on the main unit before we do a demo just to show you some of the additional tools you can get. We've also already seen the turbo head 
which I'll demonstrate for pet hairs. Some models come with a hard floor head as standard. This particular version is the Sibo Parquet head. Um, the same flexible swivel neck design that you get with the power head. You've got two large wheels at the rear and two smaller wheels nearer the front and two brushes that can be removed for cleaning. The brushes have a bit of give in them. They've they are slightly sprung, so they will cope with uneven floors. If you've got tiled flooring, it will help clean over the uneven surface. So that will attach, and I will demonstrate that on a hard floor, that attaches to the base of the unit. You just remove the power head and you can fit the parquet head. One other attachment or tool, which is a useful addition, is this SIBO's flexible extension hose and this hose enables you to to reach up further it's, it does stretch it's not quite as stretchy as some hoses but it has got quite a bit of stretch so it's useful for reaching up high when you're cleaning also you can purchase additional extension tubes. These are just plastic tubes, very light, and that's ideal. You can purchase as many of these as you want. I've got two for this machine. Ideal for high dusting, uh, picture rails, cobwebs in the corners, um, ceiling fans. You can attach uh, your dusting brush to the end there, which this model doesn't come with a dusting brush, but it's easy. Sebo uh, do provide the option of buying a dusting brush if you want. Um, that fits on there. Right now I think uh, without any further ado it's ready for the demonstration. We'll start in the kitchen on the hard floor then we'll do the living room, the torture track that I have conceived I like to demonstrate all my vacuum cleaners with and then we'll show how the SIBO Felix copes with cleaning jobs above the floor using the removable handheld suction unit. Here we are in the kitchen I've just thrown down some rice, couscous and sugar just to give you a rough idea. These are the sort of things you probably would spill on the floor in a kitchen. And we're going to try out the parquet head, the dedicated hard floor head for this job. So the first thing we need to do is remove the power head from the unit and attach this. Again you'll have to bear with me because this is difficult with one hand but easy when you're doing it with two. So I just have to press this button and then that's it. There we are. Pull that off. Let's move the head to one side and we'll take the parquet head and it fits on change hands so I can just push it in. Hang on a minute, just look at that filth. There we are, it's clicked in. A little bit tricky as I say, trying to film and trying to demonstrate. So we'll just uh, go back and forth through the middle of this and just see how it performs. We'll use full power for this, so turn on. Now, apart from a few bits of stray rice that it pulled into the path when I was pulling the machine back, that is pretty good. What I'll do now, because you can use the power head on hard floors with the brush off, we'll see what that does. We'll clean up the rest of the mess.
with the power head. Let's just move that out of the way. We should pop the machine here. Now let's make sure I think the power head will be on. So before I turn it on, I'll just press that and hopefully the power head will be in the off position. really as good a result as the dedicated hard floor brush so with the brushes stationary it does a good job as well so we'll just clear up the rest of this mess and then we'll go over and clear up the mess that I've made in the living room now famous bag of filth which has been liberally sprinkled on this carpet rubbed in and that's quite a mess isn't it this mess consists of three kinds of dog hair bits of paper dust grit sand sugar rice some confetti stars, a few little bits of plaster rubble, the small pieces, and anything else that has been picked up off my carpets in the last few weeks. That is disgusting, isn't it? I have been living with that in my carpets. Well, I haven't actually. I don't uh, let the dirt build up so much. But if you may be not as clean as some folk, your carpets might look like this. Indeed, a few years ago, when Kim and Aggie were doing the rounds on as clean as, How Clean Is Your House, some carpets actually did look like this, and I, I, so, I so envied those people that had to go around and clean those carpets. Because I never get a chance to clean filthy carpets. Well, I didn't, until now. But I have to make, the own, make up the filth myself, so... Anyway. I have no doubt, though, that this SIBO Felix will power its way through this mess with without any trouble whatsoever well I'm thinking it's going to so without any further ado let's get down to cleaning Lovely and clean. Obviously on the forward pass there was a few bits it left but on the reverse it did it. So that I think is a result. Five out of five for carpet cleaning. Right, might as well clear the rest of this up while we're at it.
So that's the carpet, spotlessly clean, the pile's been rejuvenated and it's again safe to eat your dinner off it. If you want to eat your dinner off the carpet, I personally do not, but I could if I wanted to. Now, I've set the machine up in handheld mode, so I've taken the power head off, I've collapsed the handle down to its shortest position, I've released the hose and on the end of the hose I've attached the turbo nozzle which comes with this model but is optional on some other SIBO Felix versions. So we're going to test the turbo nozzle out on some real genuine dirt. Now I've not staged this. This, although I don't expect this to come completely clean because this is dried mud and some of this will have stained this cover. This is just a fleecy cover that we keep on the sofa to stop the likes of Daisy messing it up. You're not interested Daisy, you've caused this mess. Yes, you've helped cause this mess. You don't have to stretch out and rub your nose in it. So Daisy, I'm gonna have to try and remove this mess. You're going to go, you don't want to appear on camera. You going? Cats? Foodies? Yes, you like foodies, don't you? Cats? Rabbits? Oh no, it's Molly that likes the rabbits. Anyway, off you go. Go down, come on. I've got to show the viewers how this SIBO is going to pick up all the mess you've left. Well, Molly's left some of it as well. Off you go. Right, this was washed yesterday. So it's a right mess again, but what do you expect? I think for ease of use and ease of making the video, I'm going to attach the extension hose to the machine so it'll be easier for me to show you how it works. Well, now I've got the extension hose attached to the cleaner's main hose. As you can see, it extends the reach considerably. I can now actually leave the cleaner lying on its back like that, so it's more or less like a, a little cylinder vacuum, although I wouldn't drag it along. It's not going to move very, very far, but that will just remain stationary while I take the suction power of the SIBO over to my sofa. So let's switch on and see if it tackles this dried in mud. Well, as predicted, there are a few marks that the machine's left, but these would not be removed by any vacuum cleaner. These are actually stains. Uh, this has been caused by Molly licking her feet, her dirty feet, on the sofa, and it's caused that stain. So this will have to go in the washing machine. But I've at least removed all the loose dirt, all the dog hairs, so now I can put it in my washing machine without fear of making the inside of my washing machine a right old mess. So that's done a very good job the turbo head for the SIBO Felix. Now let's take the Felix up the stairs and see how it copes with stair cleaning. So here we have the Felix positioned at the bottom of the stairs. Now there's two ways you could use the Felix for stair cleaning. One way is to keep the power head attached. Just collapse the handle which makes it a little bit more manageable. And then we've added um, the optional extension tube so we're not having to bend down. So you can do, well, three, you could do four flights, four steps with the machine safely at the bottom. But after the fourth one, the machine is going to topple over. So it's a question of using one hand to steady the vacuum. So you can steady it on a step. In fact, as you can see, it will just stand on a step, on a standard UK stair it will stand quite securely. I would recommend actually holding the handle with one hand while you're directing the nozzle with the other. So that's one option you can do it like that so basically you're not carrying the weight of the suction unit 
but as long as you steady it, and again it's hard to do with holding camera, steady the machine with one hand and direct the nozzle with your other hand. The other option, which now doesn't seem a very good idea when I've shown you how to do it like this, but you have the option of carrying the suction unit. Now let's just release this. There we go. Excuse the camera work. So now we've got the option. If I can grab hold of this, as the actress said to the bishop. Right, now I've got the option of holding the suction unit in whichever hand is most convenient, left or right-handed, it doesn't matter which. If you want to hold the, me the machine with your left hand and direct the nozzle with your right, you can, or you can do it the other way. It's ambidextrous. Now, let me just... Ooh. So, yes. So to demonstrate this, I think I'll set the camera up on the tripod and show you cleaning some of the stairs using it in handheld mode. Right, so here I am positioned at the bottom of the stairs, holding the suction unit of the Felix in one hand, and I've got the turbo brush in the other hand. Oh, these things here, by the way, aren't tits, they're pec muscles. Um, they might look like breasts on camera, but the camera does add 10 pounds, so you will excuse. Any of this fat here isn't here in real life. I'm an Adonis, trust me. Anyway, I get, I get enough exercise doing all this vacuuming. So we'll switch on and do a few of the stairs. Well, that was uh, easier really than um, I thought. It's pretty light to handle, but like I say, you can do it this way that you have just demonstrated, or you can do it by holding on to the uh, handle and keeping the base unit firmly on the stair below in the one you're cleaning. Well, I think you'll agree I've put the SIBO Felix thoroughly through its paces. I've shown you it picking up muck from hard floors, some carpets and upholstery. I've even cleaned the stairs with it. and. There's not many vacuum cleaners I would wholeheartedly recommend, but this is one I would. I'd recommend it to friends and family. In fact, there really isn't one SIBO cleaner I wouldn't recommend to anyone. It's just a case of choosing the one that's right for your situation, right for your home. There's um, various different models of SIBOs available. I'm not being paid by SIBO. This is what I've, from years of using vacuum cleaners, Miele are good as well, I'd recommend Miele, depending on which model you want, there are you know, lots of different models to go for. But SIBO are fantastic. The Felix is a model that my mum uses, I'm not going to say how old she is, but she is a pensioner, and she likes it, she's had it for quite some years, it still works, despite the fact she doesn't look after stuff like I do. All I've done with it is put a new exhaust filter on and cleaned it from time to time. It's probably coming to the time when it could do with some new brushes, but it's not desperate. So she likes it, it's one of the best vacuums she's used, and she's had a lot of vacuums, normally supplied by me, but she does like Felix. So yes, SIBO, thumbs up, I give this 5 out of 5. This, you know, I recommend other vacuum cleaners, if you check my reviews, there's some Morphe Richards and Shark models, even some Hoover models, I'd recommend, but they've normally got a proviso. I'd say, well, it's good, but it's heavy, or it's noisy, or it's got a gypsy curse on it, something like that. But my, my pal Felix here, 
I can recommend this 100%. No provisos, but you really need to try it out. So have a go with one in a shop if you can. Some stores, I believe, especially in the USA, offer a loan model so you can take it home. You only will really know if it's right for you when you try it out in your own home. I hope this video has helped you sort of decide you might want to go and have a look at it, look at it, look at it a bit further, you know, see if it's, it's right for your home. But it's a very versatile, fairly lightweight, nimble vacuum cleaner and I can thoroughly recommend it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, obviously have a look below and you'll see other videos I've uploaded. And subscribe if you want to be notified of any videos I upload as and when. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.